quick. Test, one, two, three. Hello, YouTube. I hope we're recording right now. Otherwise, it's, it's kind of for nothing. But basically, we're building a NOM 60 today. Uh, this is the end result you should get. It's basically just stacked acrylic plates. It's quite of a meme board. And uh, yeah, end result. If you actually get a package, this is what it will come like. It's just a very simple box. Front, whoop, you open it. You'll find some protective plastics. And then inside, you will find a shit ton of keychains. There are not that many in here because I just made this really quick earlier. They should be come like this. Very simple. Then you can get rid of the box. We know behave. <laughs> Chad is being funny. Inside merge bags, there's a bunch of random stickers you will get. This is the NOM 60 sticker of a cat. Some patches. But the main thing we need for the build is these protective feet. There's two ways your NOM 60 can arrive. It can either be, it can either arrive fully assembled. Uh, this is mostly for the really dark colors or the really light ones, like on either spectrum, uh, or like a bunch of random ones. This is mostly done for QC uh, on my end, because sometimes underneath the plates, there can be damage that I cannot see until I pull off the plastics. Uh, there is a small chance 20% of the packages that go out will be shipped like this. Uh, this is mostly the opposite. It's like it protects the case better from damage since you're already Since you're putting the case together yourself anyways, so I'm gonna start from scratch You can separate all the layers don't lose these screws The main layers you should look at first Because uh, I would recommend you inspect for any damages in shipping is this one still one of the biggest one it's a back plate, that's where it should probably start. You can pull all the plastic off. <laughs> I love how you're clowning on that, but so many people ask me for the this sticker. Like if I would sell it. But like it's it's so I don't know, it's hard to ship out stickers, just stickers, it's like... Either I do a whole ass sticker pack or nothing, I feel, I feel like. It's been a while, I feel like I need to rerun the Julie sticker pack. The last time, my god, I had so much uh, lost packages for some reason. Because I shipped everything as envelopes, like it was untracked. So I was like, oh, how, like... I understand that packages can get lost, you know, damage occurs, but like... Envelopes? No way, there's nothing gonna get lost. And then like months later, I still get messages that uh, stuff didn't arrive. If the light picks it up, it's a nice edge. The other side is clean too. We can just put this here for a sec. Then, important step is you get two plates. This is mainly done because there's a lot, <laughs> there was an even split between what people wanted to use. Uh, in their keyboards. So if you look at the plates, there is a long one here and there's two stripes here. The two stripes is probably an American layout for you and the enter, if it's horizontal, it's like this. It's a European layout. Uh, today we're gonna go with the European layout because it's far superior to anything American, obviously. Uh, but you can go either way. You can just throw the other plate aside uh, even if you want, you can actually build like two boards in here and just swap out the plates if you want to try European and American at the same time. I just, I'm still convinced that a Zerdi ISO is like the, the best way to go still. Just the superior layout, you know? then try to find these hooks these are the top plates these come with like a long piece and a hook 
these should go on top like here make sure these are fragile pieces that if you pull off the plastic you're going like with the sides because you don't want to snap these parts off they're quite fragile they bend a little bit but uh they're not that they're a bit brittle because that's what happens when you laser cut something especially plastic the sides kind of harden up and uh, they become brittle, more brittle than normal plastics, and that's quite flexible. This is what I do all day, by the way. For literally a month straight this is what i did all day 20 minutes of board just peeling ruining my nails building boards inspecting for damages very fun the other parts you can split them out like this these are just like l pieces Normally you should have five of them. If you put them like this on the table, you can see like they're different lengths. The first one should have also smaller holes. This is the smallest one. So this one goes all the way on top. And then you should have two small ones and two big ones. Separate those. One, put it with your small one. Peel it off. These go underneath the plate. The three go above. It's funny that you say outsource because I feel like I'm so I like I like doing a lot of this stuff and I feel like if if I outsource particular stuff it immediately becomes out of my control almost and things might go wrong that are not in my control if you understand what I mean and you immediately get an overhead of like other things I don't know it just becomes very complicated very fast then try to seek out so you have two of these l pieces that separate from the three of these uh, and then you find like these long pieces with one bite out of here's another one oh the collapse of space cables went smooth yeah but again i have no control over that that's all space cables. I did. I did not have. If anything goes wrong, I have no control over anything. <laughs> this bootleg music. <laughs> it's like a remade versions of popular songs. These are just like short brackets. I don't know what to call these. Peel them off too. Thank you for uh, the good stream wishes, by the way. My farm Millivore? Dude, you know too much about me. I swear you remember like everything I've ever said in this stream. I haven't used my farm board in such a long time. I don't think I'll ever use it again, too. It's, it's kind of bonked. For people who don't know, that was my first board I've ever bought, and I used it very aggressively, and I tried to mod it very aggressively, and it failed over and over. I even had to uh, replace a switch because I thought it broke, but it was just software that turned <laughs> the specific key off. Then I ruined the PCB, then I got new PCBs, and that's kind of how I started making clavier boards too. Like my first boards that I still post sometimes are like VA. Uh, 69 boards like European 65% boards then you could find these rounded pieces you should have four of them you can peel them off too I'm all the way up well they never really sold it that way I just messaged them and I was like 
hey, by the way, my PC uh, PCB broke. Is it possible to buy a new one? They're like, oh, is this still on warranty? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, can I just buy one? And they're like, yeah, no problem. And then I sent them a message. Can I actually buy four? And they were like, uh, sure, why? Lol. And uh, I just, I think I paid them like 50 bucks or something. And they sent me four PCBs. Which is a pretty good price, like, compared to other PCBs. Uh, the only problem is the software is atrocious. I'm all the way up. Oh my god, my nails are just breaking on this plastic. You can put everything to the side for a second. The only thing we need right now is these back pieces. We're gonna open these screws too. If you empty the little package, what you should find inside is three uh, really small ones. I quickly made this package, hopefully I did it right. Three really small ones, like this. And you should have seven long ones, two, three, seven, seven yep, and then 20 screws, which makes sense. Then the th these ones, you just place them, and you order them from big to small. I'm gonna order them real quick. And these go just like this on the back, basically. So turn it around. So the this plate with the uh, engraving is on the outside. You can put three screws through the middle of the plate. These are just to hold the back foot in place. Hey, Cheesy Riff, Riffy. Um, I think you should be able to get an email from PayPal because it's still like a PayPal order. If you don't get anything, uh, I will probably notify everyone when the when the numbers get added because I manually add them to uh, PayPal. If you have any issues and you don't like receive it after like a week or two, um, just message me on Discord, Instagram or something. I will probably sort you out uh, very fast. I'm looking for my screwdriver. Damn it, don't tell me this <laughs> stream is gonna end <laughs> early because I can't find a screwdriver. God damn it. Wait, give me one second. Aha! Uh -huh. We're in the clear. You can tighten these. No, actually, the radian acrylic still bubbles to some extent. It's not really. It the the main reason, like I can show you one. There's one behind me. Like this, it looks good, right? But if you look close, like you can see the imperfections. It's just a very bad material to ship or like send out to people in high quantities because i feel like people would never be happy they would just always complain like hey there's a small defect with you know it's not for consumers or whatever so yeah you can peel off all this plastic and then in the same cutouts you can just put these anti-slip strips just like this then you can put in a little screw in each outs, uh, outer rim hole or whatever you call it lift it up take these longer pieces and all these standoffs can be just twisted into place 
just like this. Make sure you don't shake the board too much. Tip, tip, don't get too excited until we're done. This is a very quick and satisfying build, I know. Oof, I just lost the screw. You, should, you always should get like three extra because with the Alice uh, boards, I send out like one screw extra in, in like most of the cases and people DM me like crazy for like, hey, I lost one, I dropped it on the floor, it disappeared into like, you know, another realm or dimension. Also, so these be so first you need is the L pieces, you put them together, you see one is smaller, the smallest one goes on the bottom. Click, then try to find these long ones, put them down, see which ones are the, uh, which one is the smallest, put it down. Then look at these ones, smallest one goes on the bottom. So you put it like this. Oh God, oops, wrong way around. Do not do that. Just like this. This is the bottom case, right? So we're gonna go straight away into actually building it. I have a PCB already prepared. I used this for a previous build. This is a CK60 for me personally. I really recommend this PCB. It's from Candy Keys. Really dope PCB. You can just drop it in like this. Make sure it like fits kind of nicely. Then grab your switch plate. Like everything here is already installed. It's the like nothing more and it's a hot swap. So I can just go ahead and uh, drop this in here. Make sure everything lines up. And then just for simple sake, we'll grab a switch. Or two. Now we'll just like smack one in here. Click, see this fits immediately. Fits immediately. So you can you can outfit this whole board already with switches if you want. Normally if I pull this out, see it's already attached. <laughs> Not much work, if anything at all, yeah? Then you find these uh, these hooks, put them down, see which one is the smallest. So this is the good staircase, so it's in reverse though. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. And that's it. You just put all the screws in. You can put a key set on it that's yellow. Something neutral, I suppose. That works good with yellow. What's a complementary color? Isn't green complementary with yellow? Yes, I know my color theory. Two extra screws and I dropped one. So you should get three extra screws normally. And that's it. Basically the fastest build stream ever. This is just how you build a board. If you have a hot swap PCB, this is it. This is how you do it. You see PCB very secured. I'm like tapping it with like force. Doesn't go anywhere. Uh, everything is soldered in place. The only problem you might have, it depends on some PCBs, is that the screws on the back here might short out the actual PCB if they're like in the wrong spot. What you can do is get some electrical tape and just paint like uh, put it over the screws if you think you have like some um, connectivity issues or whatever small small uh, tip uh, another thing is if your PCB is like uh, a one millimeter one thick one or something like a really thin PCB sometimes it like flexes a bit too much and it won't stay in place uh, very easy just like grab some carton and like mash it in between the PCB and the, the thing while you're soldering so everything stays in place um, what else can happen there are like some small tricky things sometimes that go wrong if you lose like particular parts. Um, I know zeal switches pop out very easily out of acrylic, um, but once everything is soldered in, it should be fine. And that's it. That's basically a very simple build guide. Nothing more to it. You have an extra plate still if you want to go ANSI, uh, aka American layout. It would go in the same way. Um, yeah, I could do a quick typing. <laughs> Not really uh, a sound test, but I can put a keycap on this.
Here's a putain keycap. Wow, such good noise, crazy. I know uh, everyone out here bought a uh, a Nom 60 for the impeccable keyboard sound, obviously. But yeah, that was basically it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, everything works out. If you have any problems, any issues, feel free to join the Discord server, talk to me, ask me questions. If you have any QC issues, uh, if anything came in damaged, please let me know before you start your build. Um, normally, everything is reversible unless unless your plate is damaged. Uh, you should be able to put the whole thing together and still receive uh, different parts from me if you need to replace anything uh, after so you can still proceed with your build unless your plate is broken anything else any other problems hit me up on discord instagram uh, twitter and i will try to reply as fast as possible uh, my dm sometimes get a little bit flooded so it doesn't always work out but that's about it thank you for watching good luck with your build and uh Hope to see results soon. Goodbye.